You know, not everyone can say they received a standing ovation from a prince and almost made him cry. Wow. But our next guest can, mm. because he did just that by performing for the Duke and Duchess earlier this week. Here with that entire magical story as actor and member of the City Kids Foundation, Stephen Prescott, and the founder of City Kids, Lori Meadoff. Oh, wow. Yes. This has been a magical week for you mm -hmm. two, hasn't it? <laughs> yes, yes. yes. The story has been heard around the world. It sure has. You have to take us back to your performance for the Duke and Duchess. What was that experience like and what was going through your head? Well, it was a lot, there was a lot of pressure put on me because mm -hmm. I had a 15-minute piece prepared for the prince and I heard that they had to leave at a specific time. So I had to cut down the piece to at least eight minutes. So that was a little nerve wracking because that was the day before the performance. That's almost half your wow. piece. Yes, yeah. so <laughs> just hearing that the prince, I'm performing for the prince alone was a lot. So the day of the performance, I didn't really get a chance to warm up to them before the performance. Mm -hmm. My first time actually seeing them was when I went out to perform. Wow. Yes, and they were right there in front of me and I just had to look past them because they, if I would've looked them in the eyes, it would've just thrown me off. Oh. Oh. Yes, but it was a great experience. Um, that's the understatement yeah. of the year. Yes. So, not only is the performance well received by the prince, mm -hmm. it's extremely well received, and he has an emotional reaction to it. Mm. Does he offer you his card or some sort and <laughs> offers to help advance your career? Is this the story? Well, he said that he would like to help me, because I told him that I would love to get this piece around, and he said I would love to help you with that. And I, I questioned it. I said, really, do you really want to help? And he said, yes. And he exchanged contact information with my mentor and the director and co-writer of the piece, wow. uh, Moises Belisario. Wow. Now, Lori, this is just one of the amazing <laughs> kids that City Kids has at the foundation. You're the founder of the foundation. Why was Stephen chose for this honor? You know, um, City Kids is 30 years old, wow. and you, mister, has been in the basement with us and know it really well. I've seen and the through, amazing work you all do. You firsthand. know, when Jane Feldman brought yeah. you in the first time, he was doing videos, and it was just <laughs> amazing. Stephen is one of those grace, uh, a young person full of grace and mm -hmm. authenticity, and came in and started working with Mo, and they put the piece uh, Brooklyn Boys together. And um, we at City Kids, 30 years, uh, just had moved into a partnership with The Door. And at the day that happened, I got a call saying, here you're back at City Kids, Moses and Jamal Joseph from Impact, our mm -hmm. Harlem-based group, all pulling together. Uh, the Royals are coming. Would you like to do something. And I'm telling you, within two weeks, we had a collaboration together. But Lori, how do you keep your wits about you when you hear, the royals yeah. are coming, the royals are coming. Did you hang up like, this is a crank call, wait a minute. <laughs> what, actually, how? You know, yeah, what, um, what I, what think, yeah. I think the thing is that City Kids Foundation is based on bringing young people together in a safe mm. space to really process and talk about their stories, the world around them, and then to take that, train them as young leaders, and we work workshop their work into the stories that they mm. bring out through music, through theater pieces. And because of that empowerment and making sure the voice of kids are heard, they're very, very authentic. We've worked, mm. I mean, 30 years, we've worked with the top celebrities. Wow. Demi Moore used to be a spokesperson. Michael Bolton we had a partnership <laughs> with. You know, uh, just so many people. And also the legacy of all those, not only that have gone in to be business people, but mm -hmm. Malik Yober and Donald Faison, and all those kids have come. And I think because we're grounded in the DNA of give back, mm -hmm. uh, we just take it as a blessing and we stay humble. And this one, who's been around the world now, everywhere, just keeps in his humility. And that mm -hmm. has to do with the tradition of how we are. Wow. Okay, so Stephen, you're performing for us today, correct? Yes. Tell us a bit about the performance and then let's let you get started. Well, it's a story about a boy in Brooklyn mm -hmm. and that boy is me. And it's not just my story, it's a story for all men of color around the world. Mm -hmm. And I just feel that I need to get this piece out because I feel that I want to send a message that young men, doesn't matter which obstacles are put in front of you, you can overcome those obstacles. Because never in a million years, I thought that I'll be performing for the Duke and Duchess. 
Wow, well you have, and now we'll get ready to let you perform for us as well. Thank so you, you walk right so over there. You walk there. over yes. there. Lori, if we want to become a part of this organization, yeah. contribute either time, money, resources mm -hmm. in any way, what yeah. can we do? There's two things right now. I mean, we, we really, you know, one of the things, the world is really in trouble, and mm -hmm. uh, especially in the United States with yeah. young people. We need city kids, and we know how to do this work with young people. We need in every city across the country. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so we are uh, love your donations at, at City Kids. Dot com and also we're running an Indiegogo campaign Fantastic. bring Stephen to Broadway and to the schools and that's on Indiegogo so two ways to really help take this message out Perfect. all right Stephen Prescott take it away the cops came walking to my front yard let me see ID the cop chases after me, so I ran up the stairs. I didn't know what to do, I panicked. I looked back and I saw the cop drawing his gun. I ran past my little cousin and my aunt heard the noise, so she stepped out of the bathroom. What are you doing in my house? What do you want with my nephew? He needs to come downstairs right now. No, stay away from my nephew. Steven, don't go downstairs, or else they're gonna arrest you. But I didn't do nothing. No, stay away from my nephew, you don't belong here. We belong here, he needs to come downstairs right now. You wanna go to jail, son? No, stay away, don't touch him, don't touch him. But I didn't do nothing, Steven. If you didn't do nothing, then go downstairs now. Yes, Grandpa. I started walking down those steps. And I started thinking about every last freedom that I had left. Receive my praise, oh God. So then I stepped outside, and the cops started getting frustrated. Where'd you put it, huh? Where'd you put it? Why'd you run? Officer, I don't know what you mean. You were just chasing after me. I didn't know what to do. Oh, yeah? Well, you lucky I'm a good cop. Oh, so I could have shot you. That man could have shot me. Wow. <laughs> Lori, that was so powerful. How do you feel when you see one of your young people perform such a powerful and moving piece like that? You know, each time, um, that's what I meant about being grounded in the honesty and authenticity of what has to be heard. It's his words brought forth. It's his experience brought forth that keep it real. And that's why young people all over need to get this and also collaborate in workshops and, and understand what they could do differently. Mm. And Stephen, it seems like it's very emotional just reenacting the play for you as well. How does it feel? These are... A just autobiographical moments that have happened in your life. Yes, well, um, talking about it is, is really hard. And the only person that was ever comfortable talking about this piece, we're talking about my stories too, telling my stories too, was Moses Belisario. He's my mentor, and he became my father at City Kids, and just in my life. That's where I met him, though, in City Kids. And he told me that I have a story. And I was a little nervous to write these stories because they were very personal. And just performing it, it's easy, more easy for me to perform it because I'm bringing out what I always hold in onto my heart. So instead of talking about it, through my acting and through, through the play, I'm able to just give you what I feel. Mm -hmm. Stephen, with all that we hear going on out there in Ferguson, the death of Eric Garner, are you hoping that artists like you are stepping up and helping lead the charge against police brutality? <coughs> yes. Mm -hmm. I. W the thing about what I, I'm looking forward to doing with this piece is to show everyone in the world where we come from. And when I say we, I'm talking about the men in my community, men of color, why we are the way we are, the reasons why some of us are trouble, for people to understand that. Growing up without a father, we had no father figures to look up to. Just, and the way the streets are, we have no reason, we have no choice but to adapt to the streets. And not only troubled, but also fearful of the people that have been empowered to quote unquote protect you. Yes. Yeah. So I just want to take this piece around and just hope that they could see us in a different light. Well, we hopefully, definitely hope more people see this piece. Again, what's your Indiegogo campaign website? Well, you could go to thecitykids.com mm -hmm. and it will lead you from there. Yes. All right. Wow. Well, Stephen, so when you win that Oscar one day, yes. <laughs> you remember that you were here, okay? Okay. And we want the exclusive interview, all right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank right. you. Lori, thank you so keep much. doing the good thank work you. you're thank doing. You so thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Always thank good you. to see you thank guys. You. Thank you. Wow. And we'll be right back with more Rise Entertainment 360.